If you're anything like me, then you've probably been a consumer most of your life. I spent years and years like reading self-improvement books, watching YouTube videos, like reading Reddit posts and stuff before I ever took action on anything that I was learning. I was just consuming, kind of mentally masturbating really, because I wasn't actually doing anything. I was just kind of convincing myself that I was being productive by learning about the things I should be doing. And I think a lot of people are in the same spot, like you, you learn stuff, but you never take action on it. And sometimes it takes something quite extreme for you to actually begin taking action. Like for me, it was the COVID lockdown, especially for my fitness journey. I was watching fitness YouTube for years before I ever started properly being consistent with it. And during the lockdown, I needed something positive to work towards in order to keep me sane. And uh, fitness and lifting was that for me. The steady progression, the numerical progression, gave me something to work towards. I could add two and a half kilos to my squat, my bench press, whatever, like every week. That was something really positive that I could work on, that I was in control of. For years previously, I had struggled to get started and be consistent with fitness. But then for some reason, in that moment, you know, when I had like nothing else to do, really, uh, I had zero problem being consistent with my fitness because that was what was keeping me sane. Like it was that important to me to have have something positive to work towards and a lot of you don't really have that if you don't have some kind of quantitative measurable goal to work towards it can be hard to make yourself start taking action because you can't like clearly visualize the result in your mind if it's kind of a more abstract thing a more intangible thing you need a specific uh, number or you know something specific to aim towards I like to view it as leveling up your character in a video game. Like real life, you can view it as a video game. You have a bunch of stats and skills uh, and you can level them up. So for me, it's like my strength skill, I could level it up. Um, my intelligence skill, I could read a bunch of books on a topic and my intelligence in that area would have increased. Obviously with money, that's a numerical thing that you can kind of level up. If you're struggling to take action, it's probably because you don't really know what you're heading towards. You don't have a clear idea of what you're working for. Another example, I only started running consistently after years of trying because I had set the goal for myself to run a half marathon a couple of years ago. Um, and I had, I made a training plan which had all the, the numbers that I needed to hit in order to achieve uh, my goal of sub two hours in a half marathon. So I'm repeating myself, but having a numerical goal and breaking that down into like numerical um, steps on the way to that goal and habits that you need to do like every day, that's going to make it's so much easier to take action having a plan to work towards your clear specific goal for my youtube channel initially i didn't have a plan at all i just um uploaded a video about the alpha destiny novice program because that was a program that i had been using for a while and i really liked it so i just wanted to share my thoughts with people on youtube i didn't really expect anyone to watch it but a couple people watched it and i also saw recently at the time that toji was quite popular uh lots of girls simping over him lots of edits on instagram and stuff so i figured at that point i knew a decent amount about like training in the gym and sculpting your physique so I was like why don't I just make like a program uh to help people kind of look like this guy and that ended up being one of my most popular videos obviously and most of you are probably here from that video or the one I made recently in 2023 but I hadn't planned for my YouTube channel to go anywhere I had just uploaded those because I felt like it I didn't really expect anyone to really watch it and I think that's part of why I started taking action because I didn't feel any pressure to really succeed or make those videos like absolutely perfect I was just like, I like this topic, I'm interested, I know stuff about this, I'm going to share it with people. I think having that perfectionist uh, mindset can prevent you from ever getting started. Um, the first few you know, iterations of whatever it is that you want to do, they're going to be quite bad. They're not going to be very good. And you have to be able to take that hit to your ego of not being perfect all the time because you have to you know, learn from the mistakes you make early on in order to become excellent at something. But you never start if you refuse to make anything unless it's perfect. The hardest part of any endeavor is just getting started. Once you get going, it's so much easier to continue and improve and iterate upon what you're doing because you've overcome the initial inertia and lack of momentum. So I guess to summarize, don't put so much pressure on yourself for it to be perfect straight away. Uh, you're gonna make lots of mistakes and you're gonna learn. And over time and with intentional practice, you're gonna get really good at whatever it is that you wanna start doing, but you've been putting off. You should also have a clear goal in mind and make a plan to get there. And the plan should include habits that you need to do every day 
in order to reach your goal and you know break it down into smaller goals like I'll use the example of the gym like say your goal is to get a 100 kilo bench press you're currently at like 60 kilos maybe by the end of the month you want to get to 65 or 70 kilos on your bench press you know adding two and a half kilos every one or two weeks that's pretty achievable and you know that all you need to do is go into the gym and hit your like three sets of five or whatever at the weight that you have uh, designated yourself for that session it's very numerical it's very easy to track your progress that way and it applies to many different fields as well if you can make it uh, quantifiable with numbers that's going to make it easier to track your progress and to have a clear idea in mind of what your goal is if it's a grade in school then you need to know like which subjects you're going to study uh, on which days like for how many hours what your exact uh, goal grade is how much time you have leading up to like the exam or whatever it is all of that is uh, information that you need to use to make your plan to reach your specific goal and also like i mentioned at the start you might need kind of a drastic event in order to kick your ass into motion like for me it was covid you might need to take some drastic action in your life, like finally quitting video games, for example, if that's something that you spend a lot of time doing and it's not really uh, compatible with your goals because like you don't have enough time to work on the stuff you really want to be working on. That is a pretty big change. I quit video games a few years ago because it just wasn't aligned with my goals anymore. Like They were fun, but I felt like I was wasting time because I wasn't working towards anything in real life, anything meaningful. Like in 30 years, I wasn't going to care about how many, how much gamer score I had on Xbox or what level I was on Rainbow Six Siege. A lot of us are pursuing like virtual goals that have no real basis in reality, like stats on a video game, for example. And you need to realize what behaviors in your life are holding you back. It might be going out drinking like every weekend. Certainly watching porn is a big one for most people, especially if it's wasting a lot of your time and like sapping your energy. These are like big changes that you might need to make in your life in order to align your life to your goals. I know this was a bit of a different video, but I hope you found it helpful. This is the kind of video that I used to make on my channel before it became purely fitness focused. I made dozens of just general self-improvement videos, but I've privated them all now. But I do want to make more stuff like this in the future because fitness is not the only component of like having a good life. It's obviously very important, but there's way more uh, aspects from several fields of life that you have to develop at the same time. Let me know in the comments if you've struggled with taking action. Like, do you have something right now that you want to take action on, but you've just been putting it off? You've really struggled to get consistent with it. You've been thinking about doing it for a long time, but never really started. Let me know what that is in the comments and I'll try and help you out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.